folks, how's it going out there in the wide world of computer curiosity? This is Peter here and today we are going to open up Kali Linux, which is the newest iteration of what you might know as Backtrack. Uh, today we're going to take a look at a WPA2 secured network, which has a secure password encryption on it. And it is a network that I administer, but uh, we are going to take a look at using Reaver and Airmon to get through that encryption and password. Um, so, let's see, I am also going to tell you that uh, well, I'm doing this in a virtual machine uh, and I would recommend using an alpha external USB uh, Wi-Fi card obviously just plugged in with USB. Uh, that is for a couple reasons. If you're doing it in a virtual machine then uh, you're going to need to do it with USB, otherwise it won't work. And uh, I also just recommend the Alpha adapter overall. It's cheap, you can get it for like 20 to 30 bucks on Amazon. And you can, uh, it, it has ridiculous um, reception. It, it just picks up way more networks than your average laptop would. Uh, just because it's got the high gain antenna on it, I actually have my smaller antenna on it. I have a like a 11 decibel one at home that uh, you can reach very far with. So here we go. First, uh, you're going to check and make sure that you are not on any networks. You can see, this is the network that I'm going to uh, be working against. You can only do this on networks that you own yourself, of course. Uh, you're going to bring up a shell command prompt, and uh, first thing I want you to do is I guess we can make sure that our interface is there, and it is WLAN 0. Um, now you're going to do Airmon NG check, and that tells us that there's three processes that might interfere with what we're going to try and do, and I have had them interfere before. So we're going to kill those. Alright, now we should be good. And it has no problem now when we check. So next we are going to take that WLAN 0 and put it on monitor mode, give it a monitor, monitor interface. So Airmon NG uh, start WLAN 0. Thinking about it. A okay, monitor mode enabled on monitor mon zero. So next we will we can uh, scan our neighborhood here for wireless hotspots by doing arrow dump on mon zero. And uh, here we can see we got a few. This one's mine, so that's the one that I'm going to be uh, going against. Um, so, I just found out about a new tool that comes with Reaver, and that is called Wash, and that is pretty useful actually because we've got, say, we got these four different networks here, but we don't know if they all use, uh, we don't know if they all use WPS, so we don't know if they're vulnerable to Reaver, but if we use WASH, we can see which ones are. Whoops, WASH dash I mon zero. And apparently the only one in the neighborhood that is vulnerable is me. Oh, I guess Daisy is as well. Okay. So I could choose to do either one of those, but I don't own the second network, so I won't do that. So once you use WASH, it gives you the MAC address here. You can go ahead and copy that, you know. And uh, then we can just go ahead and get right into Reaver. And Reaver also has a lot of different options that you can look at or mess around with. Uh, we're just going to do mostly like it says, uh, interface on mon0. And the uh, network is going to be the one that I copied. And then uh, dash BB 
which is for visual, so you can just see what's going on the whole time instead of it looking like it's doing nothing. And we're just going to go ahead and let that go. I had a previous session, I'll say no, just so you can see it go from the get-go. That is kind of cool, it saved your session, so if you can only do like 20% of your uh, attack at a time, then uh, you can save it and come back later, if that's something that you want to do. So here it's sending these requests with the pins, and the ones you're going to pay attention are these longer ones. They tell you actually how far you are. 0.05%. So this is just going to be going now for probably quite a while. This um, I've heard a lot of people say this takes 8 hours to get through. So we'll check back in in a little while. Once in a while, it's doing a little timeout thing. It should be okay. Okay, there it goes back on now. It's going at it again. I'm 16% uh, done, 16 and a half, looks like. So we'll check back in again later. Alright folks, I'm back with you now. I was going to try and catch the end of this, um, but it just went past 96% and decided that that it finished and it found what it needed. So it just kind of ran that whole time, just like you saw in the, in the little clip screen. Um, it took 20,366 seconds. So I was just checking the beginning of this video and we actually had started at at 11.07 and now it's like 5.07, 5.08 so actually it took about six hours which is pretty good uh, I've heard it taking eight hours a lot of the time and uh, I'm running a core i7 on this machine I don't think that really matters as much because this thing is set to wait a certain number of seconds before it does the next one I believe uh, otherwise, if you just do it really fast, the router just kind of rejects it, um, or it, it puts a timeout on it. Um, you did see some of those timeouts a few times, because the router decided there was too many tries in too short of a period of time. So, yeah, there we go. Um, I'm obviously going to change what my router password is now, but... Uh, there it is, that's my WPA PSK. And so now I can go on any machine. If, if this was not a network that I owned, um, that would be bad and it would be illegal. So uh, luckily this is uh, a network that I'm in charge of. So I'm just kind of doing my own security testing against my own network. But that's pretty much how it works.